Hi, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we're going to show you the best free PDF editor for Windows 10. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's get right into it. When it comes to working with PDF documents, having a reliable and feature-rich PDF editor is essential. One such powerful tool is PDF Element, a free software that offers a wide range of editing capabilities to help you modify, annotate, and manage your PDF files effortlessly. In this tutorial, we will explore the various features of PDF Element and guide you step-by-step -step on, on how to edit and customize your PDF document on Windows 10. So whether you need to add or remove text, insert image, merge multiple files, or even convert PDFs to other formats, PDF Element has got you covered. With its user-friendly interface and extensive editing tools, you'll be able to handle your PDF editing task efficiently and professionally. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to do is of course go to PDF, Wondershare.net over here. This PDF element is created by Wondershare. To find this website, you're simply going to open a new tab and search PDF element. And you're going to select this first page over here. After that, this is what you're going to see. As you can see, it is a simple PDF editor for all your needs. You will be able to use features like edit, convert, organize, OCR, annotate, form, read, protect, and create over here. You will be able to edit PDF like Word, add text, images, shapes to PDF, change the size, colors, font styles of the text, and shape. You could also insert link and add watermarks to your document. Now to be able to use this PDF element, you're simply going to click on free download over here and you will be able to freely download this application into your computer and use it absolutely for free. Now after downloading it, this is what your PDF element would look like. As you can see here, we're going to give you a quick tour on what we are seeing right now. Over here on the left side, you will be able to see all the different recent files that you have. You have your start file over here, your favorites, your recent folders over here, and document cloud over here. You can also open a PDF by clicking on open PDF over here, and you can simply select a PDF that you would like to open in PDF element. Or you could also set your PDF files as automatically open by using PDF element. You can also create your own PDF by clicking on create PDF over here. And you could create a PDF from file, from scanner, create a blank PDF or have a PDF template over here. You could choose from different templates that are available in PDF element. We're going to check them out. As you can see here, these are the different templates available in PDF element. We have resume, invoice, and another resume over here. There's also for teachers, for Mother's Day, Earth Day, business, and all of these different types of categories over here. You could use all of these templates absolutely for free. As you can see here, there is a marking that says free. Although some of the templates might be paid, as you can see here, we have VIP over here. These are paid templates that you would need to upgrade or buy before you could access. Now, like I said earlier, you could create your blank PDF by clicking this or have it from your scanner over here. As you can see here on the quick tools in the middle, we have edit, convert, OCR, combine, and batch process over here. Edit allows you to edit the text and images in a file. Convert allows you to convert your PDF to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or any other file type. Your OCR allows you to turn scanned documents into searchable or editable PDFs. Combine allows you to combine multiple files into a, multi into a single PDF. For example, you have two different PDF files that you would like to combine. You could use this feature to combine them. You could also use batch processing to convert, create, print, OCR, PDFs, and many more. Now we're going to check out the different things we could do. We're going to use this user guide book over here as our trial for our tutorial. As you can see here, it is very similar to Google Docs or Word over here. We have our ribbon over here on the top where we can see all the different tools. We have our home, edit, comment, convert, view, page, 
tools, form, protect, and all those other tools over here. You could edit all information over here like edit text, edit image, and edit in a link. You could also add text, do the OCR, you could also crop, translate, screenshot, and choose from a template as well. We can try and add, we could try and edit text as you can see here. We could see all the text element. We could click on the text and you will be able to change it to anything you would like. As you can see here, as you can see here, it changed our text to this. You could also move the text around by clicking on the side and you could do this. You could rearrange the text arrangement by dragging it around just like this. You could do this for all the text that we are seeing right now, especially this side over here. Over here, this is an image. So what you're going to do to be able to edit the image is click on edit image and you will be able to edit any image on your PDF. You could also add text by clicking on add text over here, click on your page and you could add anything you would like. You're going to have to wait for it to load your text over here. As you can see, this is the thing. This is the text that we have typed. You can easily do this. You could add it and put it anywhere you would like by doing this. And then you could edit the settings of your text, like the text format by doing by highlighting the text or right clicking it. Uh, by right clicking it, you could cut, copy, paste, delete, or select all the text over here. And also see the properties over here. You could also click on crop over here, which would allow you to crop your document. You could make this smaller, just like this. You could do whatever you would like with the size of your page. You could also do this for all pages or just custom pages over here. Clicking on cancel, you could do edits over here. You could add link by clicking this button you could add image you could add watermark over here you could add a watermark from your own computer or add from a template over here you can also update and delete it over here you could also add a background if you would like add a header a page number add more in this section over here you could also add comments to your pdf over here as you can see you could also convert this create a pdf to word to excel to ppt to image, to text, to PDF, or and many more. You can also change the way you would like to view this. Edit the page over here. As you can see, we have multiple pages. You click on tools. You will be able to see all the tools like OCR, combine, compare, compress, flatten, and many more. There's also form over here. And that's it, guys. That's the basics of PDF element and how you could use it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.